I'm Christy Rose Fulmar. I am the program director and head coach here at Rocksteady Boxing. I started working with Rocksteady as a volunteer because my husband was diagnosed with Parkinson's. I've been involved with Rocksteady Boxing from a research perspective now for six to seven years. So he said one day he's, he's going to start boxing and I was, I was skeptical and I watched him get his life back. What we do here is, is help people with, with quality of life today. Most of the big foundations that are working with Parkinson's allocate their money to research. We're big advocates on finding a cure, obviously, but all the millions of dollars that are going into finding a cure doesn't help our members walk into the house carrying a bag of groceries or pick up a grandchild or button their own shirt. The first question that I had about the program was, is this safe? Is this a feasible program for people with Parkinson's disease? We followed several people that were new to the program over a nine month period and um, tracked their, their safety through the program, their ability to attend the courses. We determined through that program it was safe, no one, no one was hurt, and they were able to attend the sessions and participate in all the activities that were going on. But what was also exciting from that is that they were getting better. We walk into class and you look at that board of what Christie's got lined up for us for the day and you say, as Dorothy Parker said, what fresh hell is this? I didn't realize how weak I was getting, especially in my left side. But you know that with that fresh hell, no matter what it is, this family will encourage you and help us with uh, seriousness and with humor. Since I started boxing and doing the workouts they give us, um, my strength is coming back. We really feel that there's something positive going on from the research that we've seen. We wanted to start to compare it to uh, another type of exercise, something that's more traditional that we might do as physical therapists. And we saw some really positive trends in our boxers with their, with their gait function and their endurance. When we started Rocksteady, we were kind of making things up as we went telling people that this worked, seeing the difference in our people, but there were no facts, there was no data. Since that time, then we've completed a, what we call a longitudinal study where we, we followed people with Parkinson's disease over a two year span, and we tested them every six months for two years. We had 88 people that started the testing, and they were from all across central Indiana. About half of the people that we tested were boxers on a regular basis at Rocksteady Boxing and the other half of our sample were people that exercised elsewhere. While most people that exercise with Parkinson's are able to maintain their level of function over that two-year period, our boxers with the same severity and symptoms of Parkinson's were able to maintain a higher level of function over that period of time. The boxers were able to maintain faster walking speed and walking better walking function. They actually walked faster at the end of the study. So over two years of continuing boxing, they were able to walk faster than people that were participating in other forms of exercise. So what we know about people with Parkinson's disease is they commonly have difficulty with postural stability and in particular, reaching forward. This is one item that we investigated and uh, we were particularly interested in it because they have to reach forward when they box and hit the different types of bags. And indeed, what we found was that they can reach farther and they maintain reaching that farther distance for a longer period of time than people that do other types of exercise. We also wanted to measure quality of life and we found that over time, people that participate at Rocksteady Boxing have a higher perception of their quality of life, and they maintain that at least over a two-year period than people that do other types of exercise. In one of the studies, a qualitative study where we ask them questions about 
what attracted them to this program, what's kept them coming back to this program. What we found that was different about Rocksteady Boxing was a, a few things. One, there was the camaraderie that they felt with the other boxers and the fact that they were interacting and exercising with other people with Parkinson's disease that also had similar level of the disease that they did. They were motivated to come to class because the coaches in their program were invested in them. There was going to be somebody who was specialized, who knew about their issues with Parkinson's disease and cared enough about them to help them get better. The other thing that we found amongst the boxers is that they were, they were more self-motivated. They wanted for themselves to improve their health. In all the studies that we've done with Rocksteady Boxing to date, there, have, there has been student involvement, primarily from our graduate program in the Cranach School of Physical Therapy. Mostly, we're doing different types of physical therapy-based measures, which are common to physical therapists. So it's been a win-win for us because we've been able to involve students, they've been able to interact with hundreds of people with Parkinson and learn that sort of management of patients from that perspective. We know that what we're doing is helping these people. We see it every day. The research that the University of Indianapolis is doing, it's going to provide a platform, numbers, statistics, and data to the medical community to prove that what we're doing is actually helping people and that's, that's what it's all about.